Stephanie Brindley here at the uh, Los Angeles Auto Show with Steve Lewis, the, uh, uh, the project design manager for their concept this year, which is the Audi Cross Cabriolet Quattro. Quattro. Steve, this um, concept is supposed to give us some clues about a small SUV coming from Audi in the next year or so. What can you tell us about that? I think it's no big secret that this is like a preview, if you like, for the forthcoming Q5. Um, obviously without the roof though. Um, we don't want to give everything away at the moment, so that's why we presented it in this cabriolet form. And it's an interesting combination because the SUV market in America is very large. Audi, I think, probably realized this a little late. We have the Q7, so now there'll be a, a major launch with the Q5 and possibly more variants later on from, from Audi. So this is a result of being here in California, let's say, cabriolets is a very big thing in, in, um, in uh, California and SUVs are a very, very big thing in America. So we thought, well, let's combine the both, you know. You have the best of both worlds and um, it was an enjoyable project to do. Well, let's, let's walk around to the front of the vehicle. And in the presentation this morning, we talked mm -hmm. about, they um, talked about uh, Audi playing with different details and design yes. and different themes that, that Audi has. What can we, how, do we, how are we see, seeing that on this well, particular concept? Well, what you're seeing here, you're seeing the, the basic graphic elements, which, which I, I mean, which the headlamps and the grille, a typical Audi single frame grille, are elements you will see on the, for, the next forthcoming Q5. But it's what, what's the diff, where the differences are in the details. I mean, we tend to call it the jewelry of the car. Mm -hmm. So the, the finishing touches on any car is, are these headlamps and grille pieces. So if you look at the grille, it's very intricate in its, in its design. And there's, there's a lot going on there. Um, and again, we can go to the rear later, but the, the rear grand graphics as well represent how the final uh, product will look in terms of rear light graphics. So are we going to see like the LEDs at the bottom of the car which are sort of similar to the S5 or S6. Probably not exactly as you see it on this car, although Audi is one of the main leaders in LED headlamp technology. So that's something we will for sure be, will be developing for future products. It was interesting to see them down farther below on an SUV concept yes. versus being on yeah. the, the sedans where they're right below the yeah, headlights. I mean yeah, some people might say it's a little bit city on an SUV, which might go off-road sometimes and something could get hit there, but I think they're pretty well protected by this big lump of steel underneath there. So. Along the side of the vehicle in the presentation, there was a reference to um, this design element being reminiscent of Audi Quattro's in the 1980s and that's, 90s. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sure, uh, that's true. It's something we've experimented already on our A5 coupe, which is all, already, all on the stand as well. Um, it's, yeah, it's taking the Audi Quattro from the 70s and developing, developing it in a more futuristic, a more contemporary way. Um, this actual car is about, uh, let's say, in Imperial, would be about two and a half inches wider than the production car, um, just to make it look a little bit beefier uh, when it's here in a show situation. Um, and we've we've hardened the lines up a little bit it's not as uh, soft as the original audi was but you know i think the end effect is pretty um let's say <laughs> following the audi philosophy it's a pretty dramatic car i like even some of this touches and here which you probably yeah, I mean, i'm not sure if you can get to SUV, but suvs are normally stuck with very big uh, exterior mirrors and what we've here, tried here is to, to work with two different types of material mm -hmm. to reduce the visual uh, bulk of the item. It plays very, very well, actually. It's one of my favorite things about it. So we'll head around to the back and we'll look at some of the LED rear tail lights and, and some of the features going on in here, too. Yeah, on the rear lights, we can show you, again, LED techn LED technology in here. Um, this is what you're seeing is the indicator function, directional indicator. Um, Obviously, we have the brake light functions in there. And what you can see with this car is that the lamps are going up with the trunk lid. So for legal reasons, inside the trunk lid, we have to repeat the same functions. There's another smaller light inside when you open up. We've, we've got an electrical adjustable suspension on the right. car, so this is sitting in its lowest position at the moment. And, and that goes up 40 millimeters? It would could go up about 80 millimeters at oh. least, yeah. Um, so. You know, if you're in town cruising around, 
in LA late at night, you have it in this low low rider position, let's say. And then if you want to crawl over the rock, you got to get it up exactly. a little bit higher. Exactly. And even these, um, the, the running boards, running boards yeah. thank you. Um, these, are, these have been sort of very well integrated in the car. I can open the door and show you. Yes, let's. They're not just stuck on items. If you look at the running boards, they're actually integrated and they run into the flow into the interior, if you like. So there you can see the name of the car again. Actually, that's a really nice way to get us into the interior, which, yeah. I mean, the colors in here are, yeah. are dramatic and incredibly yeah. impressive. How much of, of this interior again, is, is going to end up there again, in terms of shapes? And yeah, again, as on the exterior, we're looking at the basic architecture of, the, of what will be the production car. Uh, you can see this has got four indi individual seats. The production car will most likely have a rear bench seat, so you can have five people. Um, but you'll have, you have this architecture with a dominating center console and uh, the typical Audi MMI unit, the multimedia inf info system, in the center of the car. I mean, we probably, unless we go to the exclusive, might not get this beautiful white leather front well, to back. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean. This sort of white beige leather is always an option on most Audis. It can be ordered. What's interesting in this car is how we've played with the wood inlays in the car. Um, wood's something that can be a little bit old-fashioned in many luxury premium cars, let's say. So we're trying to look for a little bit of a different angle and bring it up to a contemporary modern day standards. So we've got this very nice inlay in here. The wood is actually ash so, and it's stained. And we have this inlay, which can could be anything from aluminium to acrylic, plastic, some exotic marble. We don't know yet. So the, the, the limitations are endless. Uh, endless, yes. And it's and it's a terrific look actually. When yeah. when watching the presentation, yeah. I didn't get quite up close to right. to see this, and it is really really stunning interior. So, what is your favorite element of this vehicle? I think I mean first of all, the thing that strikes you most is probably the exterior color. I think this is very fresh for Audi to have an exterior mm -hmm. color of this intensity let's say and I think the wheels is also a little bit more dynamic than what we've seen on previous Audis. Mm -hmm. uh, Audis tend to have very um, straight Sweet. wheels, very um, quiet wheels let's say. These have a little bit more movement in them, a bit more directional. Thank you very very much for spending time with us this afternoon and going through this. It's a beautiful car. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks a lot.